I'm joined by Oleg Deripaska. Oleg Deripaska is majority shareholder of Rusal, the world's uh, biggest producer of aluminum. You are also uh, a stakeholder in Naril's Nickel, Russia's largest miner. Rusal. You are a majority stakeholder in Rusal, of course, but you are also a stakeholder in Naril's Nickel. Rusal is, yes, thank yes. you very much. Yeah. 25%. Yeah. What would it take to get Rusal to sell its stake in Naril's? You've been offered $14 billion? But it's not about how much we've been offered. You know, look, you have a result will be organically deleveraged, you know, thanks to quantity easing, you know, in a um, crisis over new shift in the market, you know, for fighting fuel efficiency, resource saving. Aluminum would be most popular metal, you know, starting mid of this year. You know, for industrial development and application. That's why Russell would be organically deleveraged to zero. And You're saying that because in, in, one in, of the big uh, investor concerns in Russell is that it's so leveraged, right? Twelve billion dollars yeah, worth of yeah, debt. Yeah, but this concern was in you know, a year ago. Now right. we prove <laughs> that it's not, not, nothing to worry. And then you know, you know, we have our organic you know, growth you know, in a, in a uh, program which we you know. You know, slightly, you know, lowered, you know, in terms of the speed, you know, you know, because of the crisis, you know, new plant, you know, new technology, modernization of the existing facility, which we now, you know, you know, going, you know, to restart and with, you know, partially already restarted again, and then, you know, you have Naris Knickel, best asset, in the right location. Best in asset? What do you mean? You mean in? in I mean, in, in terms of, you know, geological, you know, you know, you know. Uh, quality of deposits, you know, and best uh, asset in the in the Rusal portfolio. You mean? Best asset in the mining world. Uh -huh. There is no other mine which could compare in terms of nickel and actually in a complex in a in a complex or in a world. And uh, we have a management, very poor management for the guys who fight in for nothing. You know, I tried to understand for the last year what was their real action as a management. You know, okay, look at Rusal. Look at JM. Look at any company. Every company tried to design new strategy after the crisis, not just you know, you know, you know going in and telling you know that we you know we can you know, produce so much cash. You know what you really want to do, you know, to increase efficiency and and you know even with all of that, you know, do you remember in the summer we said Naris must be you know 50 billion company, and it's already 50 billion since yesterday <laughs> yeah so, and we believe you know if we can you know you know make a proper management and management and a board will comply with the you know governance rules you know which normal you know, not even in western world but normal now even in russian russian world company would worse in the end of the year more than 70. Yeah, okay but you've tried to change the management already and so far you've failed and there are no signs that you're going to be able to change the management so in Why? that case Why? Well, it hasn't worked so far. But there was a shareholder yeah, meeting, and, 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 and the idea was yeah, but, rejected by shareholders. Yeah, but don't, not by shareholders. Shareholders support us. It was rejected because you know, management has this block of stake, which in normal company can be watered. Minority but it's, shareholders it, were, were played a role as well. Yeah, minority shareholders all, you know, almost in a hundred percent supported Russell because they also want to see company you know, which operate better and worse more. Okay, this, well, this, let's, this, let's this return reality. to the core issue. You've been offered fourteen billion. Is that correct? Has Russell been offered fourteen billion? No, it was not real offer. That was not a real offer. What was just, it real about? Just, just, you know, just speculation. Nothing. I mean, it's just a speculation. But it's not about how how much we've been offered. It's about how much this asset should be worth. Well, how much is it worth? I tell you, you know, it should be worth with the proper management in this type of in in this uh, time of the cycle. Yeah. You know, in the end of the year, 70 billion. Same as I told you know your colleague, you know, yeah. in the summer, that it should be worth you know more than more than 50. Fine. So 70 billion. We saw as a 25 percent stake. That means $17.5 billion. That's what Rusal yeah, is worth. But so it will, if, it, it if, will be in case if they will adopt in a normal, you know, civil practice, you know, if management would be professional. And the you know, board, you know, this is a key issue. You know, we believe that board should be, you know, should have majority of independent directors. But just let me confirm that. You think that Rusal's stake should be worth $17.5 billion? 
25% of 70 billion is 17 and a half. No, I just don't want to, you know, because you have uh, this flash news, you know. Right. I don't, I just want to, this, because you will be misquote me. You know, I said that. Well, we're this, live right yeah, now. No one's yeah. going to misquote you, exactly, sir. Exactly, exactly. Right. But Everyone's I mean, listening. I mean, I mean that, no, not, not intentionally, <laughs> yeah. but uh, how the system works. I said that, that we're so happy to have this take, which will secure a resell asset portfolio against inflation, yeah, in a, which help you know aluminum you know to go counter cycle. I mean, in us as aluminum company goes cycle to have exposure to other metals, nickel, right. copper, palladium. But this take this take will be resell core assets same as our you know core well, smelters. Well, let's move on. Just, uh, finally, 15 billion. <laughs> would you accept it? <laughs> That makes it so simple. You know, it's not the numbers. It's not a, a circus. And just, yeah, well, I just, it's I just business. Thought, Everything's for sale. Everything has a price. No, Otherwise, you, no, you know. No, no, no. Okay. Price of aluminum. Where's it going? In the end of next year. Sure. End of yeah. 2011. 2700. The world resolves the 2700. Yeah. All the concerns about China trying to slow down growth, perhaps depressing uh, prices. What's on, your take only, on it? Only in the Western media. In, in China, they want to have a balance and more, how to say, uh, equal development, you know, in not just industrial aspect, but also social aspect. This is what they, you know, what they key goals. They don't want to, you know, create unbalances which they can, you know, create. And that's cost. not going to affect the, the price of aluminum? I mean, you're the world's biggest producer of it. Actually, opposite. You know, China fighting with the waste furiously, you know, and if country import energy or energy-related product, you know they can't produce you know, aluminum. You know, look at Korea; they did, they stop it. You know, Japan; they did, they stop it. Same China. China will reduce its presence on aluminum market okay, as a producer, two but quick it will increase it will increase its presence as a consumer. Two quick questions: Russia now sends a lot of its commodities, including aluminum, to China. Is there a, a danger of uh, over-dependence for Russia on China? Actually, we'll be surprised. You know, twenty percent of Australian, you know, in the export, you know, in the related on China. In Russia, it's less than two and a half percent. Glencore, your partner, shareholder in Rusal, is going to have an IPO this year. Are you going to yeah. buy into that IPO? Are you going to buy some of Glencore shares? Yeah. Me personally, yes. You are. How much? I don't know how much they will sell because it's the best company, same as Russell, best company in aluminum. Narikl with the proper management you know, under control of a shareholder, not minority, but majority of the share, shareholder. Same as Glencore. In today's world, you know, you know, this you know, trade house with exposure to asset is the best you know, you know, uh, opportunity to benefit on this type of the cycle. All right, Oleg Pasca, thank you very much for joining us. That, of course, was the majority shareholder of Rusal, the world's largest producer of aluminum, a man who has many other assets as well. Thank you.